And so, this concept of rational economic man is a cornerstone of economic theory and provides the foundation for modelling the interaction of consumers and firms. The next module will start tomorrow. If you have any questions, visit me at the Knowledge Bank. Knowledge Bank? Uh, yeah. See you outside! Let's go! Oh. <gasps> <laughs> Welcome to the Knowledge Bank. Oh, it's you lot. What do you want this time? Oh, we've got questions. <sighs> all right, I'll go through it all again. Listen, it's quite simple. At the heart of economics is a model of man. A simple distillation of a complicated animal. Man is solitary, competing alone. Calculator in head, money in hand, and no relenting. His hunger for more is unending. Ego in heart, nature's at his will for bending. But that's not me, it can't be true. There's so much more to all the things humans say and do. It's rubbish! Well, it is a useful tool for economists to think our reality through. It's said that all models are wrong, but some are useful, so can't we take a new look at this model being truthful? The model's fine. It's really quite obvious that man fits the mould of our homo economicus. It is the average individual, an atom we can aggregate to make the model calculate outcomes. A study showed the more that students learn of this model of man, then the more that they turn to self-interest, see, and competitiveness. They value altruism and collaboration less. To take the model literally is actually done. Who we tell ourselves we are shapes who we become. If we carry on regardless, we're heading for calamity. We desperately need a better portrait of humanity. Oh. The model seems quite ideal to me But it doesn't match up with reality We need a better portrait of who we are It must project rationality But what about our humanity? Our things are working fine the way they are We disagree, let's debate some more Let's break it down, self-interest of all of the virtues Is most beneficial for individuals to turn to Truck, barter and trade, economy start with a model of man with only ego at heart But self-interest just one of many traits Showing only ego at heart is a terrible mistake Justice, generosity, public spirit Are missing from the model and we think they should be in it If we study our behaviour we can clearly show that We're more socially invested than the naked mole rat We share, help, cooperate, cue Things we'd be amazed to see another species do. This aspect of our being is critically valuable. We're so much more than just a dollar hunting animal. Oh, what? The model seems quite ideal to me. But it doesn't match up with reality. We need a better portrait of who we are. It must project rationality. But what about our humanity? Our things are working fine the way they are We disagree, we let's debate some more Humans hate to work, it's a means to an end Only money motivates, luxuries make amends But money only goes so far before it's worthless My motivating force is something deeper, purpose Sometimes we work because we care about the aim And if money enters in, our enthusiasm wanes uh -huh. Not everybody wants to work for money on a platter Sometimes we do things just because they matter Rational, economic man is all-knowing Calculating constantly to keep his wealth growing Comparing all goods and all prices over time Sure, it's an abstraction, but it works just fine No, it doesn't! No, it's a superhuman version In reality, there's no way we can be so certain Usually, we make do with the rule of thumb Since people can't know everything, the model must be wrong The model doesn't feel to me like it's a human being It's abstracted us into a kind of human slot machine When we want the best, yes, we estimate the cost But if we don't admit uncertainty, something core is lost Oi! Get off me! Ah! The model seems quite ideal to me But it doesn't match up with reality We need a better portrait of who we are 
reject rationality and what about our humanity? Ah, things are working fine the way they are We disagree, let's debate some more The economy needs inputs and the world is replete Nature is a resource that lies at our feet Mine it, log it, drill that well The earth is our dominion and it's here for us to sell I'm sorry, but that's very big headed. We're not above the web of life, we're deeply embedded. But human, human desire is an insatiable force. And what the market wants will be supplied, of course. But that comes down to culture. We need sufficiency where we're part of nature's cycles, not a separate entity. So will we keep consuming until we're over stuff? Or can we find a balance knowing how much is enough? Uh, enough! Oh. Look, clear off, will you? I've got to close up for the night. Thanks for your time. Yeah. I've still got a few questions, though. Yeah, I bet you have. See you tomorrow. Huh. Uh, huh. Huh. We need a better portrait of who we are. Well, what would that look like then? Mm-hmm. <laughs>